Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to do just a wonderful full body, um, fairly quick yoga practice that you can fit into just about any day. So you have time for this. Um, you have time for yourself. Take the time for yourself. So full body, um, I won't waste any time talking. Just make sure you've got some water handy if you need it and let's get going. We're going to start today coming into child's pose. Extending those arms out nice and long, hips back towards your heels, and we're just going to check in for a couple good breaths here. Mm, slow, steady breaths, just gliding through the lower back, through the shoulders, getting that great stretch through the chest, through those quadriceps. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart. We're going to inhale up to a modified high plank. Shoulders right over the fingertips, nice long line down the back of the body. And then exhale, sit it back to child's pose. Glue your hands to the mat. Inhaling it up. This time, if you like, adding a push-up. Otherwise, just flowing between our modified plank and our child's pose. Being mindful of our breath and our movements. Let's do two more with or without that push up. And one more. So just checking in. As you start to move, how does the body feel? How's the breath flowing? What's the body telling you? Sitting back to child pose, hold here. Inhale, lift just enough to reach that left hand underneath the right arm. Palm to the floor and we're going to walk our hand out as far as we can walk and turn and place the side of your head to the mat. Now that right arm can be softly bent or we can start to walk those right fingertips towards the top of the mat. So never with judgment, never with criticism. We check in with our body and we listen to what it's telling us. We honor whatever it's telling us, even if it's something we don't really want to hear. Breathe. Now we're going to pull that right hand back in, kind of right by the face. And I want you to just gently press open a little bit more, working to draw that right shoulder back. And if that doesn't feel great, just release it a little bit. And gently release it back. Lift just enough to release that left arm. Extend that left arm out. Right arm crosses underneath the left. And walk that hand out as far as you can walk it. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Right side of the face, just resting against the earth. That left elbow can be bent. Or we walk those fingertips out towards the top of the mat. Just making sure that your shoulder is happy. Your back is happy. Your breath, slow and steady. And then slowly pull that left hand in right by the face. And then we're going to press that left hand into the mat as you roll that left shoulder back. Working to stack those shoulders just a little bit more. Great stretch. Oh, between those shoulder blades and that upper and middle back. and gently releasing it back down. Pressing with that left hand just to release enough and extend the arm out, left arm out, and release the hand down, the head down. Nice big deep breaths. And let's slowly walk the hands up, coming up to a kneeling position hands resting on your thighs. Now, if the knees are not uber happy with this, if you have a pillow, if you have a yoga block, anything that you need to kind of prop up underneath your bum, please use that. So it lifts you up a little bit more, taking the pressure off of the knees. And if that's just too intense for the quadricep, shoulders are soft. Find your breath, pull your hands to heart center. So we're just going to lift and lower from here. We're going to core strong. We're going to inhale and we're going to lift. And then as you exhale, squeeze your buns here. As you exhale, slowly lower back down. So I want you to control both the in, squeeze at the top, and the down. Three more. Squeeze. So there's a whole lot of power going on in those legs and in the core. Two more. Squeeze. And release it down. Last one. Squeeze. We're going to stay up 
Bring the hands around behind your back. Make fists with your hands. Place your hands on either side of your spine about hip height. Draw those elbows towards one another. Open the chest. Now press those hands into the small of the back as you lift your gaze towards the sky. Camel pose. Pressing those hips forward, lifting your chest, squeezing those elbows. Find your breath. Now if it feels right to you, release that right hand down. Take a hold of your heel. Extend that left arm up and reach. Find your breath. We inhale and rise. Both arms come up. Circle the arms around behind. Once again, find those hands on either side of the uh, spine, about hip height. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Lift the chest. Arch it back. Breathe. If it feels right to you, release that left hand to that left heel. Right arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Find your breath. Inhale, rise, lift that left arm. Sit it back to the heels, pull the hands to heart center. Nice job. And walk those hands forward to child's pose. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands out to the left, reach to your right fingertips, press your hips to the right, and relax the weight of your head down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center. And over to the right, reach to your left fingertips, press your hips to the left, relax the weight of your head. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center, back to child's pose. And inhale, let's walk it up once again to a kneeling position. This time we're up high and we're gonna extend right leg out to the side, straight out to the side, extend the arms out to a T, releasing that right hand to the right leg, left arm up and over, gate pose. Inhale, reach it up, arms open out to a T, slowly lower over, right hand down, left, I'm sorry, left hand down, right hand up and over, reach, reach, reach. Core is strong. Let's take it up and back. One more time, each direction. Right arm down, left arm high. Take it up and over. Inhale it back through center. Left hand comes down. Right arm up and over. And inhale it back up. Release your arms. Draw that right knee in. Extend the left leg out, straight out from the side, sole of the foot to the floor so you feel this nice stretch through the outer ankle. Extend those arms out to a T, left hand down, right arm up and over, leaning in towards that left leg. Beautiful stretch down that right side. Inhale it back up, right arm down, left arm up and over. Create that diagonal line, really reach. Feel that extension through the ribs, through the waist, and we rise, core strong, working those obliques. So there's fluidity to our movement. There's strength to our movement. Flowing with our breath. Let's take it one more time. Up and over, finding that diagonal line. And inhale it back up. Arms out to a T. Release the arms and draw that left knee in. Beautiful job. Let's bring those hands forward. Up towards the top center of our mat, lifting your spine. I'm sorry, lifting your sit bones, reaching your sit bones to the sky. Oh, and just sinking the chest down towards the mat. Nice big deep breaths, puppy pose. Feels super good. We're gonna inhale and lift just enough, pulling those hands back just a smidge, hands shoulder width apart, tuck your toes, lift your hips to the sky. To downward facing dog. Let's alternate bending. Opposite knee, just one and then the other. Finding that rhythm, finding that breath, and just alternating, walk in the dog. As you exhale, let both heels sink. Shift your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right knee through, foot to the inside, to pigeon pose. We walk the hands forward, stacking the hands, releasing the weight of the upper body down. 
forehead just resting to the back of the hands. And I just want you to kind of rock side to side, only if that feels good. Just creating that mobility, allowing the body to just sink in. Really just aware. So if you practice with me, you will hear me talk about mindful movement often. So mindful movement, yeah, the opposite of mindless movement, when we just move without really thinking about it. So our mindful movement is deliberate. It's purposeful. We are aware of our form. We are aware of our range of motion. We are always listening to the body. Let's come back to center. And with mindful movement, our mind-body connection enhances. There is less risk of injuries. And with that deeper connection of mind and body, we're just in tune with ourselves. And what a gift that is. Better posture, better strength, better balance. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. Hand on either side of the knee. We're going to tuck the back toes and we're just going to press those toes into the mat. Mm, I want you to extend the leg only if that's right. If you're like, wow, that is way more intense than I want. Just keep the knee down. Extend and down. So some days it may be just fine. Other days you're like, mm, that's not so great for me. We all have those days and there's no judgment. There's no criticism. It just is what it is, what it is, right? And we're here and we're working through last time. Extend. Now lift the hips and step that right foot back to plank. Hold your plank. Lift out of those shoulders. Toes or knees. Let's crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. And we're going to sway those hips side to side. <sighs> So if you're thinking to yourself, how do I do this without judgment, without criticism? It's about being present and celebrating the movements that we have within us today, the breath that we have within us today, and that mindfulness just to be on your mat, letting go of the rest of the world. The importance of self-care, self-love. If we don't love ourselves, guys, it's hard to love anybody else. And we come back to center. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left knee through, foot to the inside, to pigeon pose. And let's walk those hands forward. Stacking the hands and just relaxing the weight of the head down. So as you come into the left side, does it feel any different than the right? Probably so. How so? Better or worse? More challenging or less resistance? And let's just gently rock it side to side. So maybe one side you could rock and there was mobility there. This side you're like, nope, I gotta stay still. It's all good, you guys. It's all part of the journey. And the journey is not a straight road map. The journey requires adaptability consistency, a sense of humor, kindness, and awareness. So that love, guys, that appreciation for movement, for breath, bring it with you wherever you go. And let's gently release that rocking and just let yourself sink. And let's slowly walk the hands back up. One hand on either side of your knee, and we're gonna tuck the toes. Just press those toes into the mat. Chest is lifted if your lower back is like, mm, I'm not loving this. Bring your hands forward a little bit. Now we're gonna extend that right leg. Ooh, hello. So really deep stretch for those hip flexors. Mm, deeper stretch for that left hip. Bend the knee. And extend. And bend. And extend. Just breathe in, guys. That inhale as you bend, 
Exhale as you extend. Let's do that one more time. And this time we're going to keep that extension. Core is strong. We're going to lift enough to step that left foot back to plank. Hold your plank. Lift out of those shoulders, lengthen through the crown of the head. Strong, solid planks, guys. So if we need to come down onto those toes, absolutely do so. As you exhale, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. Open those knees nice and wide. Sit it back to extended child's pose. Checking in. And let's walk those hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around. Slide on down to the top or towards the top. And we're going to open. And we're going to extend that right leg out to the side. Left sole of the foot along the inner thigh. Reaching across with that right hand. Left arm up and over. Reach towards those right toes. Flex that right foot. Turn your gaze towards the sky. Inhale, reach that left arm to the sky and then circle that left arm around behind you. Right arm extends to the sky. Point your toes, press and lift. Lift the hips, arch it back. Reach towards the wall behind you. And inhale, lower your bottom. Release that right hand around beside you and switch sides. Breathe, reaching that left hand across. Flex your left foot. Reach that right arm to the sky. Take it up and over. Turn your gaze towards the sky. Close your eyes and breathe. What do you feel? Where do you feel it? Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky. Circle that right arm around behind you. Hand right by your hip. Left arm extends to the sky. Point those right toe or left toes. Press and lift. Oh, lifting the hips and allowing that left arm to open to the back. Long, beautiful stretch through the belly, through the chest, out through the fingertips, strong through that right shoulder, right arm, slowly lowering it back down. Release that left hand to the outside of your hip. Pull your legs in, crisscross those legs and sit up nice and tall. Let's bring that right foot out in front of us slightly. So we're kind of stacking our legs as opposed to crisscrossing those legs. So the feet are just um, kind of untucked, if you will. And let's walk those hands forward. Extending those arms out fully or stacking your hands. Relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Breathe, slow, steady breath. And let's slowly walk those hands back up, sitting up nice and tall. And now we bring that left foot out in front of the right. So again, not crisscrossing, kind of stacking the legs one in front of the other, sitting up nice and tall. And we walk those hands forward. So good, you guys feel so good in the hips. Really nice for that lower back. And you might notice that one leg in front feels a little more wonky than the other. Wonky is a good word. Wonky can say a lot about things. So just not normal, not your typical go-to feel good. There is absolutely nothing wrong with wonky. Unless there is pain involved or tingly or numbness, pins and needles. Wonky just means it's not our safe place. It's not our comfortable place to go, but it's a place that we need to go. So it feels a little less wonky when we come back to it. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. Now, whichever leg feels more natural to you, crisscross your legs. Bring your hands down by your sides. Sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, bring the chin towards the chest. Gently roll the head to the right. Right ear over the right shoulder. And press that left palm towards the mat. Now, you may or may not be able to press that palm to the mat. So depending upon the length of your arms as compared to the length of your torso, if you have longer arms, easy peasy to press that palm to the mat. If you have a longer torso, like I do, it's harder to get that palm flat. 
Gently bring your chin back towards your chest with the chin towards the chest. Roll those shoulders up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. And we roll the head to the left. Left ear over the left shoulder. And a gentle press of that right palm towards the mat. Hopefully not holding too much resistance here, not too much tension or tightness. Just a wonderful, easy stretch. Exhale, chin back towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Let's gently release the hands to the tops of the knees. Palms face the sky. Gently touch your index finger to your thumb. Close your eyes and we're just going to take a few moments for some good cleansing breaths. Aware of each inhale and each exhale. Calming, soothing breath. Drawing in energy, awareness, love, forgiveness, gratitude. Exhaling away any negative energy that might be hiding within us or lurking around us. There's a sense of peace and lightness and love. Draw in that warm, wonderful, powerful energy. Keep what you need. And exhale the excess out into the universe for those who need it the most. We take care of ourselves so that we can better care for those whom we love and cherish. Time for self-care, guys, is never time wasted. Let's gently open the eyes, take a big breath and reach to the sky. And exhale, pull the hands to heart center. As always, you guys, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you subscribe. I hope you come back time and time again. I hope you just send the word out that maybe I might be able to touch a few more lives each and every day. It means the world to me, you guys. Thank you so much. Be well. Light and love to each and every one of you each and every day. Until the next time. Namaste.